Welcome to the Miami Boat Show, you guys. We're up here with the Shallow Sport X3. Been here the last five days. Sarah brought up the boat on Tuesday last week and uh, on the Yamaha dock here. So if you guys stopped by, it was great seeing you. Thank you. Also went on the Freeman 28 and uh, we're going to show you a little walkthrough video of that. But uh, here's a little video of Sarah running the boat the other day with Charlie and Andrew coming up here to Miami to get ready for the show. a bit of a run, but we made it. We were successful in our voyage to Miami. What do you think about all this? It's an incredible first view from the water in Miami. It's the only way to see it is from the water. Everything else is underrated. I am short, remember? I took it up in the tower. You're, no, an, ex you're, you're an expert captain. What do you mean you can't see? <laughs> hey, it's the, it's the Freeman. Hey, it's hey the, I know that guy. Uh, hey. <laughs> What's going on, Scott? You don't really run up here tonight? Yeah, we just got here. Cool. Well, come hang out in your new bed. Oh, what the heck? Oh, there it is. Back right up next to it if you want to. <laughs> we made it to the boat show. We're going to the Yamaha dock. It's right up here. Come on. We got to get it set up here. We have to eat lunch. And then we have to catch an airplane home. All right. We did it. We did it. We are secure. We are secure at the Miami Boat Show, ready for demos. We're here at the Opelaka Executive Airport, and we're gonna meet Wes. He's somewhere around here. You ready to take that flight? I'm ready for that private flight home. It's the only way to fly. Huh. Well, that's nice. That'll work. Wes? What's up? Hey, Wes. How's it going, I'm Charlie. Wes. Great to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for coming Andrew. down. Andrew, nice Thanks to meet so you. much for grabbing us. No worries. Well, this is epic. Sweet ride. Shallow Sport Pro Team. That makes it a company vehicle. on the rear. Yeah, All right. This is way faster than the uh, Uber XL. Thanks, Wes. Best Uber ride ever. <laughs> How's your flight going so far? So far, so good. Thank you, Wes. It was a privilege flying with you today. And we're back in Marathon.
Welcome to the Miami Boat Show 2023. We are on the brand new Freeman 28. Just came out. This guy's trying to sell us on one, so we'll see if we get one or not. Comment below if you guys think we should get one. We did ride on it yesterday and it rode really well, and we're gonna take Sarah on it today, though. But anyhow, starting in the back here, you have your bilge access, and it's deep back here. There's gonna be optional seating on top of there, but you got your fresh water tank right there, you got your bilge pump, all your seacocks in there, back of the speakers as well. Twin Livels in the back here. Not positive on the size, I might have to guess around 25 gallons each, maybe they're 30. But two Livels back here. Integrated rod holders built in here, so they're not uh, bolted on the outside, they're actually in the mold there, so super nice right there. Between the motors will be a ladder on the upcoming models, so you can go in and out. This one has two power poles right there. More bilge access. Let's see what we got over here. Insulated box, Scott? Yes, sir. What would you use it for? Drinks. Drinks, fish. <laughs> Sarah's lobsters are going there. Sarah yeah. can put her lobsters in there. All that good stuff. The lobsters are probably going to libel for comparison snapper bait, though. Right. On this one over here, we got a big libel in the deck, painted blue. You can control it, flood it, seal it, pressurize it, all that good stuff. You still got that brand new boat smell. It stinks. Oh, yeah. Resin. I, li I like the smell. <laughs> Gel coat, resin, yeah. fiberglass, all that good stuff. Back here, little drink box right there. There's some cold waters in there, some cold beers. All that good stuff as usual. 250 gallons of fuel, so you can go a long way. Getting close to two miles a gallon, like 1.8 it looked like, right? So probably go 450 miles, I would say, just to be safe. And here, in the console there, a little bit of tackle storage, a couple Plano boxes there. One sliding uh, tray there. This one has got a single 24 inch sim rack for your electronics, a fusion head unit, mercury uh, throttles and all that stuff, a joystick, zip wake trim tabs. Up here, another little hatch for your dash. A little bit of storage in there, put phones in there, paperwork, all that good stuff, USB cords, charge your phone and all that stuff right there too. Radio up here for your VHF. Another little cubby storage in there. Put a little bit more stuff up there if you need to. And it has a glass windshield. So this has been like a really big upgrade on these newer boats the last few years for Freeman. The glass windshield. We have curtains, which I like the eyes and glass, but people are starting to really like the uh, hard glass. So if we do get one, we'll be having that on there. On this side over here, you got your console access right there. Pretty good sized console if you check it out there. You got your uh, Simrad sounder module, your JL audio amplifiers. Your breaker panel right there and your battery switches and all that good stuff. I mean, I can, I'm five foot nine, so I can climb in here and you actually do have a decent amount of room, so not bad and uh, good amount of storage, obviously, it's a cat room. Hey, don't close me in there. In the back, you guys, we skipped this. This is a big fish box in deck and it has two hatches to access it, so it has a macerator pump to pump it all out, but that's your in deck fish box. You can turn that on to pump that out, but uh, Ice down, you can put a swordfish in there if you cut his nose off, wahoos, kingfish, mahi, snapper, grouper, all that good stuff. So, and of course you can see all the JL audio speakers and subs. It's probably the best company around and uh, we've been loving our JLs. You got your fresh water and salt water wash downs and they're also getting these uh, integrated storage racks on the newer boats too, which I like. Instead of having the hose laying on the deck, you can store it underneath there have it out of the way. More index storage up here. They got their life jackets in there and uh, you can put dive gear in there, whatever else you want to put. So plenty of storage on the cats. You never have to worry about that. Up here, you got your forward seat right here in front of the console. Open that up there. Another drink box. They got a couple dock lines in there for now. It has the new boat smell, which I love. Something really cool I like is the new magnetic seats they're doing. These boats are fast. This one goes almost 70 miles an hour. We uh, went 66 on a half on it the other day on the one seat show I went on, but they're magnetic, so they clip down here and you gotta kinda pull on them harder to get them to lift up. But when you put them down, you can hear them snap in place there. But, so just kinda lift that up here, open up that hatch, more storage, insulated box up there, so you can use that as another drink box and all that good stuff. It can be plumbed as a live one. Ah, okay, that'll be good. So that could be a liable option too. Over here on each side, you have uh, more storage and they have their rod racks in here. How long is it? Eight feet or nine feet? So you can store your rods in here. You got removable backrest there. 
lift up the cushion, open up your latch right here, and put the cushion back down, and pick this bad boy up just like this. Built-in rod storage, so you can get four rods in here. They run up all the way up towards the bow, lock them in place so they don't get beat around, and you get your uh, tubes back there where your rod butts go in there and hanging down. So and you can also store stuff in there too, but really nice to have some onboard rod storage on both sides. And we're gonna lock this too because when we go on a ride, we don't want this thing bouncing open. So we'll reverse this around here, lock that in there, and put this back in there as well. Up here on the bow, you got all your bow access. Big hatch right there. They just got one fender in here for now, in case you're gonna be Crash Bandicoot. But uh, plenty of storage, you know, dock lines, anchor lines, dive gear, cast nets, fishing tackle. And I'm just getting familiar with the boat. I've only been on it once, but more storage on this side. And everything's gonna be the same up here. And we'll just check up here by the trolling motor. This one's got a Minn Kota on it, and uh, the power supply runs right in here. Got your trolling motor plug right here. Got your anchor set right there. And um, you'll be good to go. So that gives you a quick walkthrough of it. I think we pretty much covered the whole boat here. They are gonna have a stand through tower option. This boat does not have the stand through tower. Um, it does have a radar up there, your light bar, outrigger bases. But uh, if we get one, I think we'll get the stand through tower. That way we can have it for fishing, for lobstering, a little bit of a little bit better visibility the higher you go. So. I think we need to take this boat for a ride, and we guys, we'll show you guys how it runs. Ben, what do you think on the new 28? You love it? She's a rock star. All right, you guys. We got our Manatee Observer just in case on the watch. We'll see what happens. Sarah's got the drone up right there. There's the Beast, the 47 Freeman. So long, Nick. We're gonna see how she runs. And I got to run on this boat yesterday, but we're going out right now and uh, we're gonna put it to the test again one more time and show you guys what the numbers are and how it performs. Did you buy that sailboat, Scott? <laughs> Have we spotted any manatees yet today? I have not, no. Any yesterday? No. Any at all? I. This is my first day today. Okay, gotcha. Alrighty, we're keeping our eyes out. Alrighty. The drone's going up. We got the manatee observer seated down. This boat's fast, you guys. We got the 47 coming up here too. And the world cat. Are we going to race the world cat? No, we're going to smoke him. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to race us, but we'll race him. Letting Sarah drive? Yeah, yeah. They really do want us to get one.
You got a big ass swell coming in here. You guys enjoy that ride. We got to uh, get up right close to 60. We did see almost 67 the other day. I know they've seen right at 70 on it. Do you think the Manatee Observer enjoyed the ride? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. She's still up there, so we didn't bounce her out. Just Jay's. I don't know what that guy does for work, but I'd like to find out. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that sea trial and walk through the new 28 Freeman. But we also went to the Billfish Foundation dinner up there. And as you can see, we've tagged and released quite a few swords the last uh, six years. We just got the top tag and release captain and top tag and release mate for the Atlantic Ocean. We tagged, I don't know the exact number, I have to go count, but somewhere around 70. And the Billfish Foundation does a great job promoting catch and release. All different sorts of billfish, sailfish, marlin, the different oceans, swordfish including in there. And uh, you know, we had a great time there at the event. It's a big fundraiser and uh, great time with Mike up there. So thanks to everybody who fished with us the last couple of years and uh, especially this past year for the 12 months that we could win the title again. And hopefully we're going to repeat next year. We'll see what happens. And that's the latest one there. So thanks so much for fishing with us aboard the Broad Minded. And this video is coming to an end. So if you want any merch, head to the website stansfishing.com. We're doing a big spring sale right now. We bought a little heaven. We got new stuff coming in. So it's 20% off all merchandise right now on the website stansfishing.com. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and hopefully we see you guys down here at Bud Mary's in Alamorada. We're going for a ride on the Freeman in a few minutes. I forgot my hair tie, but you definitely have to put your hair up to ride on the Freeman. Is it tie? Is it tie? You got a knife to cut it now? Yeah, no. All that comes out. <laughs> Sexy. These Freeman guys to do anything. That's right. Except we had to borrow scissors from our dock neighbors. No, okay. they don't. All right, this is good. I'm set for the day.